today we are making cheesecake. Ingredients needed: one and a half cup of graham cracker crumbs, five tablespoon of butter melted. I'm going to melt this. One tablespoon of sugar, pinch of sea salt or regular salt. Two and a half pound of cream cheese, one and a half cup of sugar, five eggs, one half cup of sour cream, quarter cup of all-purpose flour, and one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. So these are the ingredients we need to make our cheesecake. So step one is that I have my graham cracker crumbs cup and a half in the fruit processor and we are going to add melted butter and I'm not using salt because I have a salted butter so if you don't have the salted butter you can use one teaspoon of salt and we will add one tablespoon of sugar and now we are going to mix this. What we are going to do is add our crumbs into this. Bread crumbs. I added my graham cracker crumbs into my nine inch spring pan and what we are going to do is just press it down with any type of cup firmly just like that make sure it's all the way done properly Okay, so once this is done this way, we will leave it on the side and we will prep our cheesecake filling. So just make sure this is done, pressed hard. Looks good. Please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for notifications. I have my dry ingredients in here, sugar, and I'm adding flour and cream cheese and we are going to whisk this on low until they are mis mixed properly now we are going to add one egg at a time and mix it I'm adding one egg at a time and mixing it on medium speed. Now we are going to whip this on high speed. One more time we are going to scrape it around the bowl and make sure everything is in the bowl and we will whip this on high speed for another one to two minutes and then now what we are going to do is add our mixture into our nine inch spring pan So 
what I did was I added foil around my pan because um, we're going to add some water in this foil tray. This will protect from the water going seeping into the pan and also what it does is adding water this is optional but adding water will assure that there's enough moisture in the oven and it will not crack your cheesecake from the top so this is an extra extra step you have to take if you want to but uh, i think this is a great way of doing it so i added it to the foil and i have a preheated oven on 325 and we are going to bake this from 90 to 105 minutes first I'm going to set a timer for 90 minutes and then check if it's not quite done then we will bake for another 10 minutes so now what I'm going to do is put this on lower, lower rack in the oven and then we will add water not right now we will put this into the oven and then we will add water to this I have my cheesecake in preheated 325 degree oven and now we are going to add water on the side slowly and I'm going to use another two cups and then we will close the oven and we will not open this until it's done for 90 minutes our cake is out of the oven and it took 105 minutes to bake this and I had some leftover cream cheese filling so what I did was I made a four inch cake also and we are going to leave this in this water for 45 minutes as is and then we will place this in a refrigerator for two hours before we can cut it we're gonna cut the cake is we need to dip the knife in hot water and then we will just cut a slice just like that a slice right here and I will show you how it looks full cake as you can see came out really nice I hope you like my recipe and please do subscribe to my channel and I will have a link on top for a home whipped cream so you can use that if I also you have an option of using uh, with fresh strawberries or raspberries or blueberries you can do that too but please check out my link for fresh whipped cream topping here we go look at it it's a beautiful cake <laughs>